The Importance of Being Earnest is a trivial comedy for serious people. That's marriage. A trivial comedy for serious people. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, but it's serious. And it's something that you have to commit to to each other um, and go forward with. And I know that you both will. Uh, and on behalf of everybody here, I want to congratulate you. And at this time, I'd like you to raise your glass. This is a famous Irish toast that a friend of mine actually used to say all the time, and I'm stealing it from him. He's not here, so he can't yell at me. There are good ships and wood ships and ships that sail at sea, but the best ships are friendships, and may we always be. Salute. For those of you that don't know me, I am Kiki's baby cousin as she introduces and refers to me to everyone, even though I'm 22. Um, but, um, and, but my name is Jess. <laughs> so I have the absolute pleasure of being her maid of honor today and I'm very excited for that. Even though I'm seven years younger than Kiki, our relationship is way more than just a normal cousin's relationship. I've always said she's more like a sister to me than a cousin, but I'm really lucky that Kiki is like the sister I never had. So between working at the dairy together for a lot of years, going on shopping trips to concerts, coffee dates, movie nights, and constant Snapchatting 24-7, um, <laughs> nothing can keep us apart, even the fact that I currently live 18 hours away from her. you're born, um, I don't think it makes you someone's brother. It may make you a sibling, but brotherhood is something that has to be worked on. And it has to be something that, that you work at over the years. And that's why you hear so many people refer to each other as brothers, whether it be in sports or in friendship or whatever that might be. It goes well beyond what blood relative might be. So one of the greatest joys that I have had and experienced in my life is that I've had the ability to watch Dave grow into the man that he is from multiple vantage points. I've seen the transition in our relationship but I'm 10 years older than Dave, believe it or not. I think at first it started out where I was looking out for him as a big brother, um, and now it's finally reached the point uh, where we've turned into friends. And to see that transition is awesome, and to see what he's done. So I've had the unique ability to watch him grow that way. Um, I'd like to think that I've impacted his life positively, but the truth is he's probably impacted mine more. make your relationship work will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why we are here today. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you truly want the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open and honest with one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings and will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both promised together to share today. 
An intimate and secure relationship is not based on mere promises, but rather on trust, respect, faithfulness, and the ability to forgive. A lasting marriage is based on all these bound together by love. David and Kathleen, since you have exchanged vows to one another in your never-ending commitment to love, and I declare you to be husband and wife. You can seal your marriage with a kiss. Okay. It is my privilege to present Mr. and Mrs. David Estras. Kiki has wanted to be married at Congress Hall her whole life, ever since she was 12 years old. Fast forward 18 years after a few major setbacks, and uh, here we are. Kiki, I've never seen you look so radiant and beautiful and happy as you do today. Now, Dave, I know that you have your hands full, and you know that, but you have yourself an amazing, gorgeous, strong wife, that's crazy wife, um, that loves to shop more than anyone I know, and, um, but please take care of her, um, and welcome to the family. So everyone, raise your glasses in honor of Mr. and Mrs. Ostrowski. Kiki and her mom went to a wedding where Anne actually spotted Dave as the lector. He was tall, Irish, good looking, and most of all a good reader, which in my wife's world is very important. After finding out the identity of this handsome young man, they found each other on Facebook, which eventually led to a first date. Well, you heard that part, but I'm the one who hyped her up to add him on Facebook and message him. All right, so you're welcome. Most best man speeches close with some form of advice on marriage, and so mine's very simple and very basic. Write your own script. That's it. It really doesn't matter what anybody else tells you or what you think. You figure it out as you go, and there's nothing that can be wrong. It's really simple. Uh, at least for me, I think that's how you do it. Welcome Dave into our family and know that they know that as a couple they will continue to grow in love, friendship, and respect. After all, they've seen 
they've been through the last few years. To come out on the other side still smiling, they deserve all the happiness they do. life has to offer. We wish them all of God's blessings. So please raise your glasses and join me in wishing our newlyweds. Here's to love, health, and happiness. Salute.